For the migrants who keep being moved on by police, this is their latest desperate location. The forecourt of a disused petrol station has become a haven for more than 100. The result of an increase in the number of refugee camps being torn down by the French authorities. Khalid fled here from South Sudan, but he says life has improved. And he told me that unlike others, he isn't aiming to get to the UK. Since I come here, I'm not come just to go to Britain. I'm come because I'm run out from my country because I feel danger there. They shoot me gun two times in my hand and my foot. I and I also I they put me in the prison six months and after that I run out from my country. I just need a place to be safe, to feel safe. In recent days, the camps of Calais have seen a surge in the number of migrants being evicted. And several charities which deliver aid to migrants have told Five News they believe this is behind the significant increase in illegal crossings of the English Channel. These volunteers helped set up the Calais Food Collective at the start of the pandemic. But in the last few days, their bottles of water and packs of food have become increasingly vital. The police have confiscated um, all of people's belongings and so people are sleeping rough with no tents or blankets a lot of the time. There's just the one site uh, where uh, the guys can access clean water at the moment um, and that's under constant supervision by uh, the police so it really deters people from wanting to use that. As discussions continue over how to stop illegal crossings of the channel, the UK's immigration minister today said prevention would mean migrants no longer have a reason to go to France. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Calais.